Eh bien, salut tout le monde, c'est Razor Talvin. On est sur Story The Path of Destiny. Et euh, on va continuer ça ensemble. Euh, on s'était arrêté. The Imperials there were no match for him. Soon after, Zenobia limped up the path. When she realized he was already in front of her, she didn't even try to run. Oh, you left without saying goodbye. Again, he said, please. I'm enjoying this a little too much. She said, shaken. Oh, spare us the chit chat, would you? Said Lapino as he shackled her hands so she couldn't throw spells. She knows all his plans. All the way back to the Farfarer, Lapino nagged Renardo about how the interrogators would pry all the intel out of Zenobia. How that would turn the tides in the imminent battle. All they had to do was take her to the rebel's secret base. Renardo didn't like to think about what the interrogators would do to her. Couldn't he just talk to her? Ouais, on était ici la dernière fois. Alors, euh, c'est trop cruel. Laissez tomber la base secrète de la rébellion. Et là, c'est quoi L'emmener à la base secrète de la rébellion et gagner la guerre. <coughs> ok, c'est euh, soit on la torture ou soit c'est trop cruel, quoi. Alors, euh, une fois... Une fois encore, Zenobia était la prisonnière de Renardo, prochain arrêt de la base de rébellion. Mais le sort que lui réservaient les interrogateurs, Renardo pouvait passer outre la base et trouver un moyen d'interroger Zenobia lui-même. Ça, ça a l'air bien. Et euh, une fois encore, Zenobia était la prisonnière de Renardo, prochain arrêt de la base de... Ouais, ça en connaît. Euh, le sort que lui réservaient les interrogateurs Renardo frémit... Rien qu'en y pensant, mais c'était nécessaire pour qu'il remporte la guerre. Oui, il allait amener Zenobia à la base secrète de la rébellion. <coughs> Moi, j'opte plus pour ça. Parce que là, va souffrir, machin. C'est peut-être un ennemi ou je sais pas. Mais euh, c'est mieux ça, je pense. Alors, on va prendre ça. As they pulled away from the Nexus. Renardo could see the fear in Zenobia's eyes. I can't take it to those creatures at the base. He whispered to Lapino. Ah, you've gone soft. Soft in the head. We captured her for what she knows. I'll take it to the mountains. Tell all the horrible things the Emperor's done. Yeah, believe me. She'll turn. And he turned the wheel. The hell you will, shouted Lapino, and he grabbed the wheel back from him. The two of them wrestled for control of the ship. It shot off like a mad sparrow. Suddenly, Renato was falling. When he came to, Zenobia was standing over him. Why didn't you take me to the base to be interrogated? She demanded. Do you know what's left of people they interrogate? This is some trick, isn't it? To make me fall for you again. Well, I won't. Oh, go on then. Scurry back to your ravens. I can't stop you. But strangely, she didn't. As Renardo set off to find the Farfarer, she followed him, keeping just out of sight of the ravens. Okay. Donc t'es touché ça et ça, ok. Voyons voir, je peux faire une épée là. Ah oui, il manquait un minerai. Il manquait un minerai. Ouais. Ah là, c'était pas de bol là. Deux attaques, échec critique. Terre, wizard de bouclier, chasseur de trésor. Ok. <coughs> Mais attendez, je pouvais mettre un truc non Non Ah non. Ok, c'est parti. Oula, eh ben. What else could you hook Ah d'accord.
Yes, I know you do, yeah. wonder what I could make with all these sword crafting materials. Thought it out of. Oh, il y avait un coffre en bas là. Oh merde, j'ai fait un fond sur le mec. Boum. As Renato stopped to sniff the wind, Zenobia came up. Still mad. Did you really think you'd just talk me into betraying my father? Oh yeah, sure, that was exactly my plan. Then why aren't you even talking to me? Because I've never talked you into anything in my life. They're gonna court-martial you for letting me go. He caught a whiff of the Farfarer. Wet rope, tar, and a cask of Scoble ale he'd spilt last year. It was that way. Oh, let's go. Let's go, let's go. much easier than free climbing. Ok. Alors les gars, je vous préviens. Euh, ça serait une vidéo très très courte. J'ai pas le temps euh, aujourd'hui. Euh, alors, euh, vidéo très très courte. Dès qu'on le pourra, je m'arrêterai. Hein. Je suis désolé. Mais bon. On vaut mieux une vidéo que rien du tout. Hein. <rire> Allez Mag, mag Renato wondered if he should have taken Zenobia to the rebel base for real. Maybe she wasn't playing him out. <coughs> After the bleak talk about the Emperor's dark secret, he was regretting his suspicion. Sure enough, the Farfarer had crashed in some rocks. There was no sign of Lupino. Zenobia caught up. All that kid stuff in sword food school. Look, you know, look, that's the past. We, we, we're adults now. We, we have duties to other people. We have destinies. What are you talking about? And you are the most arrogant, slow-witted, light-fingered, mercenary, moral, reckless, Run away with me, said Renardo, and he realized he meant it. Oh, just like that, she demanded. I will, if you will. So she kissed him. And it was the best kiss he'd ever had. They held hands as they boarded the Farfarer. Renardo felt light-hearted, like the winds that were playing the rigging like a balalaika. But Lupino, I need to go back to Lupino, he said, suddenly realizing... He could have been captured. A prisoner. He's not. How did you know? He saw something in her eyes he didn't understand. He fell, didn't he? Into the abyss. She looked away. Wouldn't answer. But then a bolt smashed through the Farfarer's keel. The broken ship plummeted out of the clouds. On va s'arrêter là. Ça va être tout. Désolé, hein. c'est court. J'ai pas le temps, faut que j'y aille. Donc, euh, n'hésite pas à laisser un like si ça t'a plu. N'hésite pas à t'abonner si t'es nouveau sur la chaîne. Moi, je vous laisse là. Puis, euh, je vous dis à la fois prochaine, les gars. Allez, ciao.